Lesson number four, Equal Remuneration Act. As the name indicates, remuneration is what? What is the remuneration? Anyone? Yes, it is nothing but a salary wage, right? So, yeah, payment given to the employees. So, that has to be equal. Now, equal in the sense of what equality? Men and women, okay? So, this topic, learning objective, object and scope of the act. I'm, I have covered both the things in this slide. Women form integral part of Indian workforce. Is it real? The answer is yes. It, it is. And now the woman is required in boardroom also. Right? Woman director. So woman forms integral part and further her involvement in this environment is essential. Right? So if you want to involve her, definitely you have to treat her equal. You have to treat, you have to give her equal access to education and her skill development. Government of India has taken several steps to improve and maintain women workers' involvement. Okay, that's great. The Act extends to whole of India. The Act extends to whole of India. Equal remuneration to men and women without discrimination for same work or work of similar nature. Now, this Act has only two to three provisions. Very important. Not more than that. So, what they are saying is, if you are doing the same nature of job, in the same category, in the same factory, there has to be equality. So, for example, this uh, uh, me and Rishi, both are doing the same job. But I am outside the factory and Rishi is sitting inside the factory in AC and all and he is having the different treatment and I am having the different treatment. I am just giving you very, very general example. So, this should not happen. Even if I am working in the same process, same category, I should be treated equally as Rishi is. Or Rishi should be treated equally as like they are doing with me. Right? So, uh, equal remuneration, this we have already done. The provisions of the act have been extended to all types of employments. Next. Now, the most important definition which I would like to discuss over here is same work or work of similar nature. Skill, effort, and responsibility required are the same. What are the three things? What are the three things we require? Skill, effort and responsibility. Performed under similar working conditions. This is nothing but the same work or work of similar nature. So you need the same talent. You need the same skill. Same of, uh, responsibility to that job. Okay. Now, act to have overriding effect. What does it mean? Now, see, in Factories Act, in Factories Act, near high uh, speed machineries, women are not allowed to work. Are you getting that point from the Factories Act, lesson number one? Yes, everyone? I told you that women and children are not allowed to work near high speed machineries. So, if I do that, okay, is I am discriminating between these two? Am I discriminating, discriminating in my factory if I am not letting them work near high machineries? Aishwarya, Arjun, Harshit, Rishi, Saloni, please. Are you there all? Please, right here. Everyone. Because in classroom teaching, no, at least I get your expressions. At least that eye contact is there. So, here I don't have anything. And it is pure teaching, right? So, I want you to answer. Okay? It has to be one to one. Yeah, okay, Harshi. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I have asked you a question. Did you get my question? If I am, as per Factories Act, they are saying women should not employ near the high machineries or high speed machineries. So, in my factory, I am not allowing any woman to go nearby that machinery. Am I discriminating? Aishwarya? Ah, Ishi is there, sorry. Arjun, Arjun, Rishi. Rishi is also there, okay. Am I discriminating? 
the answer is no because factories act have said for their security i should not do that for their safety i should not do that is it clear so wherever they have prohibited prohibition will be there so that time you cannot just say you cannot discriminate in between this man and woman this act is saying so where there is a requirement act to have a overriding effect too that is allowed is it clear with everyone next duty of employer to pay equal remuneration so if you are not uh, discriminating you have you are required to pay equal remuneration to both of them but what is the assumption they are doing the same work okay next discrimination not to be made when at the time of recruitment nowadays still most of the employments they choose men men members rather than female why because they know that female if she is married like definitely she will have a loads of responsibilities from her family and and then she will take leaves she will go on her maternity leave then uh, so like it is uh, not ending so they end up thinking like that that we will prefer male candidate rather than to choose over a female candidate it is still happening so it should not happen that way time of recruitment at the time of recruitment they should not discriminate but see we cannot change their mentality if they are doing it they are doing it okay so we cannot fight on that okay so they might give you that you have not answered in interview questions like that fact like in uh, this uh, what i can say not in a fact time say generally in our profession they might say that uh, yeah i'll ask you two to three questions you answer that i'll take you so those are the things they might uh, do the problems with so no discrimination while doing giving training transfer and promotion this is important this is the next provision which is important so discrimination should not be made at the time of recruitment as well as training transfer and promotions now you tell me if your mom is getting promoted but they are saying that you are required to go to the delhi you have to take care of the delhi office how many of you would shift to delhi because your mom is getting a transfer yes yes see if father get transfers we easily we whole family shifts right but if mother is getting a transfer will that transfer happen actually speaking will you shift from one state to another state the answer is no that's what is happening yeah depends on lot of factor but still the ratio is very low no one will allow yeah they will say take care of your family first father has a job the main karta of the family yeah i don't deny that factors also but still it is not that it, it is not a easily taken woman is getting transferred to the other states yeah there are certain cases when it is possible but most of the time it doesn't work okay yeah next authorities for hearing and deciding claims so see appropriate government as i said every act will have every authority to decide the claims so not below the rank of labor officer so what are the problems let us go for that contravention of the provisions of the act there are hardly two to three provisions so if you are doing the contravention of that also they, you can go to the authority then further you are not getting the equal wages for the same work done by you further you have to maintain your employer has to maintain a register in required manner as they are saying is penalty contravention of the act payment at inequal rates you are discriminating and even if directions have uh, has been given by the authority but still you are not following them you are required to the penalty they are given is like that imprisonment or fine or with both but they are not prescribed exactly penalty they have not given okay so how many months ka imprisonment no that they haven't given so as may be prescribed as per the act they will punish you is it clear everyone very very small topic okay any doubts yeah please answer these questions everyone clear fatafat 
quickly please great you have no doubts since the act has only got two to three provisions very very simple act okay but now please help me with this questions answers very good arjun equal remuneration act prohibits discrimination against women worker all of the above and second one very good saloni ashwarya that's what i want okay you are answering for second right yeah ashwarya has answered for second okay wow that's great the answer is a prohibited by law very good 